Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert and in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Notion Clipper. And it's all coming up next. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how you can get notes and other things from the web inside of Notion. So there is a Notion Web Clipper extension for Chrome. I think it's also for Edge, but I don't remember. And I mainly use Chrome because I'm on a Mac, but this Notion Web Clipper is very useful for clipping things from the web and getting it to show up where you want it to inside of Notion. So let's look at what I'm talking about. So as you see here, I have opened up my life operating system. And right now I'm gonna go over to the web and we're gonna kind of do a little experiment, so to speak. We're going to look up something, or actually I've already looked it up, and we're going to use the web clipper to take what the contents of that web page is and put it inside of Notion. Now, if you've been watching my episodes, you know I have a notes, meetings, and ideas section inside of Notion. So I'm going to take a note or a web clipping, and I'm going to import it into the Notion uh, notes, meeting, and idea section of the uh, operating system, the My Life operating system. Okay, so we'll go over here to Chrome real quick, pull that up, and as you see here, I have pulled up how to change your air filter. And if you look right up here, you'll see a little N right here. It says save to Notion. So you can click on that and you can leave the name just like it is if you want, or you can change it. You can choose which notebook is going to go to or search for one if it's not showing here but mine is and the workspace because I have several workspaces okay now when you first install the Notion Web Clipper in the extension section of Chrome you'll have to let it have access to your Notion workspace once you have access to it, you'll have to pick your workspace. Now, some of you might only have one workspace, so it shouldn't be a problem, but you'll have to pick that before you pick uh, what um, area inside of your Notion workspace you want to save these notes to. But typically, this is how it would be looking right here, okay? And then all you do is you hit save, and it'll ask you, do you want to open this up in Notion? Well, yeah, let's see what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and hit open. And so this is what happens. It shows here and it has some of these areas blank, but we'll fill those in. And as you see, it fills all this in. Now, sometimes when you do the web clipper, it might take a few seconds or so to populate everything down here and it might not be formatted right so you might want to format it the way you want to format it and stuff and a lot of times I don't like this um, centered view I like it a full width view so I'll do something like this right or maybe you like it like that okay so and then what I typically do is I go to note type and I go ahead and uh, enter in some stuff if I have time. Maybe I'm doing it real quick. I'll fiddle with that later when I do my wrap up for the day and I'm um, going to inbox zero for my notes. I might uh, wait till later, but if I have time, I'll go ahead and just 
fill in some of this stuff, right? So I'll go here and I'll go to home. It's nothing with people, projects. No, no, no. Maybe a quick summary. Maybe since it's your air filter, maybe you want to pick your car here, right? And going down here. And you see all the stuff that it did? I copied all that in there for you. So you don't have to do all the heavy lifting. Pretty cool, huh? So let's do another one real quick. So here I got this nice little recipe for the carnivore diet, steak tartare, and I want to import this recipe into Notion. So all I do is go to my Notion web clipper. I usually leave the name alone because it's usually pretty accurate. Leave all this alone, unless I want to put it somewhere else. Maybe I have a recipe database inside of Notion. Maybe I want to put it in there. That's fine. Then all I do is, I just go ahead and I hit save. Open it up in Notion. And there you go. See? Really easy PC, isn't it? Now one thing I will say is, let's say for instance you don't like this centered look and you want to do it too full width if you notice when I do it full width this still stays centered but all of this is uh, left oriented if you want this picture left oriented all you have to do is go here to this align click on it hit the left oriented and it'll pop it over there just like that and then of course I will go ahead and fill in what's necessary, right? Maybe I got something in there for food, no. Do I got something in there for diet, maybe? Ah, and there we go, and now it's all set, right? Maybe I do want to put in a quick summary. I'll put it for the carnivore diet. And there you go. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And if you got any questions or anything, um, just go ahead and leave me a comment right down below. And if you um, like this episode and you want to see more of these in the near future, make sure you uh, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week. And I'll catch you next episode. Take care. Bye.